Create a plane. Scale it by pressing W on keyboard. Make the scale value to 50. Reduce the subdivisions to 1. Take a torus. Adjust it in such a way that it comes above the plane. Click insert on the keyboard to change the pivot point. Select a line on grid option. Now, scale it to desired size. Its size will be increased above the plane. Turn off Align to Grid option and adjust the plane. Select the plane and add a edge loop using Insert Edge Loop tool. Adjust the edges to set our background. Select both the edges and bevel it by pressing Ctrl plus B. Adjust the settings in such a way that it looks like a smooth curve. Apply material to both the objects. Let's bring a camera in our scene. Go to Panel and select Look Through Selected. Now adjust the position of the camera. Lock the camera. Come back to Perspective. Let's set the image resolution to full 1024. Open Arnold Render View to see the preview. Add a directional light to your scene. Adjust the position to make the object visible. Increase the intensity. Directional light works on rotation. So, to change the direction you need to rotate the light. Set the color to whatever you want.
Now change the light to point light. Follow the same steps to make object visible. Point light emits light from a single point source. Play with settings to get desired lighting effect. Now bring a spotlight to the scene. Spotlight projects light on a single spot. You can alter the settings to make it look more appealing. Now bring area light to scene. Area light projects light from specific areas such as a window. Area light are used most commonly as compared to other lights. Hope you have learned something new from this video.